Hello and welcome to Spoken English Video Lessons by Arrow Publications. I am your Spoken English Trainer Padmini and in today's video lesson, I shall tell you all about the use of will be. Well, what is this will be? Will be is actually the future form of the verb to be. We have already learnt about the to be forms in the present. We use am, is, are to talk about the present state. We use was or were to talk about a state in the past. And in today's class, you will learn all about will be, which is used to talk about a state in the future. Let's get started. Let's first understand the combinations in which will be can be used. The first combination in which will be can be used is with qualifications. For example, we can say, I will be a graduate next year. If you say, I am a graduate, you are talking about the present. But if you are talking about a state that you will be in in future, you use will be. So, I will be a graduate next year. She will be a post-graduate in two years. That means she is still doing her post-graduation and in two years, that is after two years, she will be a post-graduate. Now, let's also look at the next combination in which will be can be used. Will be can be used with status or job. Let's look at some examples. She will be married next year. So, she will be married. Married is a status. And next year, she will acquire the status. So, we say she will be married. But if you say she is married, it means that she is married right now. She will be married a status in the future. I will be employed in a year or two. I will be employed. So, what is going to be my status after two years or maybe one year? I will be employed. My cousin will be a doctor in five years. So, he will be a doctor. That's what he is going to be after five years. He will be an actor in future. Just say he is good at acting now. He is planning to become an actor. You can say he will be an actor in future. He will be manager of this company in a few years. This is also a status or maybe a job. My children will be software engineers in future. So, this is all about the status or the job. Now, let's go to the next combination with which we use will be. Will be can be used with a state in the future or the condition in the future. Let's look at some examples. You will be healthy if you take nutritious food. That means, what will be your condition? If you take healthy food, you will be healthy. Healthy is a condition. You will be sick if you play in the rain. So, if you play in the rain, you will be sick. Sick is nothing but not being well. All the students will be present to class tomorrow. So, here will be present. Present is a state or a condition. I will be busy tomorrow. So, what will be my state tomorrow? I will be busy. The markets will be crowded tomorrow. Just say it's, an, it's a Sunday tomorrow. The markets will be crowded. What will be the state of the markets? It will be crowded. The shops will be closed on Sunday. What will be the condition of the shops? Will be closed. And now let's look at some more sentences. You will be okay after the treatment. Okay is going to be your condition after the treatment. The roads will be flooded because it has rained a lot. What will the condition of the roads be? It, uh, it would be flooded. The house will be vacant next month. That means now it's occupied and next month it will be vacant. So vacant is the condition of the house or the state of the house. We can use will be with feelings too. For example, 
I will be happy to join you for the picnic. I will be happy. Happy is a feeling. You will be surprised to see the change. So surprised is a feeling. Next, he will be upset to hear the bad news. Upset is also a feeling. Upset means to be sad. He will be sad if he hears the news. You will be bored if you sit at home all day. So bored is also a feeling. The next one is my father will be angry if I waste my time. Angry. Angry is also a feeling. Now the next one is about uh, will be plus qualities. Qualities means the qualities that you possess or somebody possesses. You will be fluent in English after the course. So if you keep watching these videos and if you keep practicing with me, you will be fluent in English. Fluent is the quality of your English. He will be good at sports with practice. So there's somebody who is practicing and he will be good at sports. So good at sports. Good is the quality. Cities will be more polluted in future. What is going to be the quality of cities? Polluted. She will be beautiful when she grows up. If there is a child that's very pretty now, you are sure that she will be very beautiful when she grows up. So she will be very beautiful when she grows up. Now the fruits will be ripe in a month. What will be the quality of the fruits? Ripe. Ripe means ready to eat. It will be very hot next month. So hot is also the quality of the weather. It's the quality of the weather. And the soup will be tasty if you add spices. Tasty is also the quality. Tasteless, tasty. The soup will be tasty. If you read books, you will be knowledgeable. So knowledgeable is your quality. If you read books, you will be knowledgeable. Now you can also use will be with Position. Position means where you are or where something is. For example, we will be at home tomorrow. At home is my position or our position tomorrow. He will be at college tomorrow. He will be at college tomorrow. Where will he be? At college. And the next one, I will be there by 9 o'clock. What, what will my position be at 9 o'clock? I will be there. So there is also a word that shows position. The doctor will be here at 6 p.m. Here is also a word that shows the position of something or someone. Now let's go to the next combination with which will be is used. Will be can be used with verb plus ing. I will be sleeping at 11 p.m. So I will be sleeping. You can also say I will be asleep. I will be asleep or I will be awake. I will be awake means I will have woken up. I will already have woken up. That is I will be awake. That's the opposite of asleep. Instead of saying will be sleeping, you can say asleep. So I will be sleeping at 11 p.m. What will you be doing at 11 p.m.? I will be sleeping. We will be having dinner at 9 p.m. We will be having dinner at 9 p.m. That means at 9 o'clock exactly we will be eating. We will be in the process of eating or we will be in the middle of eating. I will be attending a class at this time tomorrow. What will you be doing tomorrow at this time? Tomorrow at this time I will be attending a class. And the next one, the sun will be shining at this time tomorrow. So tomorrow the sun will have risen and it will be shining at this time tomorrow. So what will be happening tomorrow at this time can be expressed by using will be plus verb plus ing. So from this you understand that will be can be used only with a few combinations. You can use it with qualifications. You can use it with uh, status or job in the future or a condition or a state in the future. You can also use it with position, with feelings or with the ing form of the action word or verb. I hope you get the point. And now, as always, we learn three forms of sentences. 
sentences are always in three forms the affirmative sentences or the positive sentences the negative sentences and the interrogative sentences let's see how we can make sentences in all these three forms with will be let's get started i will be free tomorrow what's the negative form i will not be free don't say i will be not free i will not be free tomorrow will you be free tomorrow there will be a holiday tomorrow there will not be a holiday tomorrow will there be a holiday tomorrow the doctor will be available in the evening the doctor will not be available in the evening will the doctor be available in the evening i will be absent to next class i will not be absent to the next class will you be absent to next class he will be sleeping at this time he will not be sleeping at this time will he be sleeping at this time at this time tomorrow i will be working at this time tomorrow i will not be working will you be working at this time tomorrow so look at all these sentences where we have used will be in all the three forms the three types of sentences affirmative negative and interrogative well you can see that every conversation of ours includes all these three forms of sentences all these three types of sentences we cannot always talk in the affirmative or just in the negative or just the question forms it's a combination of all the three types of sentences so i hope you learnt you have learnt all the uses of will be remember not to use will be with uh, the present form of the verb you can't say i will become or i will be go or i will be sing i will be draw i will be eat you can't use it with the present form and you cannot use uh, will be with the past form either i will be came you can't say that i will be ate i will be went these are all wrong sentences and the wrong combinations you can always uh, use will be only with the verb plus ing form i will be coming i will be going i will be watching a movie or i will be eating i'll be sleeping i'll be talking i'll be walking i'll be attending a class so always remember that any b form will be am is are was were or any of these forms always have to be followed by the ing form of the verb or with the other combinations that i talked about so i'm sure you enjoyed learning all about will be and its use and you will surely be able to put them into practice now and start practicing pause the video here and there and start repeating the sentences after i say them and i'm sure you'll with practice be able to use this very efficiently and you will get fluent in using this very soon so do like share and subscribe to our videos keep watching our videos for more thank you very much for watching see you soon